Hello and welcome to another episode of Rotator Cuff Expert. I will talk today about a subscapularis tear and a subscapularis repair. Uh, I was asked about this in the comments on the most, one of the more recent um, videos we did. The subscapularis is one of the rotator cuff muscles. Subscapularis is here. In the front of your shoulder, there's the ball. The socket's underneath the subscapularis. This is the, the supraspinatus here. This is coming up the biceps tendon here. So the biceps comes up in a groove and attaches to the top of the socket down underneath here. And then the subscapularis comes across and attaches on what's called the lesser tuberosity, a little bump in the front of your, uh, in front of your shoulder. And the supraspinatus comes across here and attaches to the um, greater tuberosity. What's different about the subscapularis tear is a lot of the subscapularis cannot be reached within the shoulder joint, and which means that it, that's important for us if we want to repair it. So if we have what we call a leading edge subscapularis tear, a tear up in here in the very top, we have a leading edge, then we can oftentimes see it well enough. We're doing the scoped little poke holes with the camera. We can see it well enough, we can put an anchor here and then bring it back down. The problem with, with if you have a complete tear of the, super, uh, the subscapularis, a lot, it's very, very difficult in my opinion, impossible. And I'm sure there's some orth orthopedic surgeon who does a lot of scopes and specializes in subscapularis that thinks that they can repair all of the subscapularis um, through the scope. I actually don't think you can, but then maybe there's some, or at least I can't. Maybe there's somebody out there who can. So most of the time, if we, if my predominant problem is a supraspinatus tear, I will do it almost always all arthroscopic through the little poke holes, anchors, that kind of stuff. If we have a, a very top of the subscapularis tear, then I'll fix that arthroscopically too. It's, it's challenging, but you can see and you can get to it. If my problem is a primary, a subscapularis tear, then I'm gonna to have to make an open incision, sort of like old school incision in the front of your shoulder and go in there because I wanna put anchors down here lower, which is really, really difficult, if not impossible to be able to do through the scope. So the difference is when you have a subscap sub -sub -scap repair, most of the time, the surgeon is going, to, is going to make the incision in the front of the shoulder. The other part about is this, is we have this problem, the biceps, right? And so the biceps often is injured in a subscapularis tear too, because the subscapularis does stop here, but there's some fibers of tissue that go over the biceps to hold the biceps where it's supposed to be in what's called the bicipital groove. So oftentimes if we have a subscapularis tear or a supersonatus tear too, we also have the biceps. And so oftentimes, I will see a subscap, predominant subscap tear, and then I'll see a biceps tear. So we do the open procedure, go in there, and we repair the subscap again with some rotator cuff anchors that go in the, into the bone, and we tie this down. And then just down here a little ways, because we have some disease of the tendon of the biceps, just down here a little ways, we'll do what's called a biceps tenodesis. Now this is called a, a supra pec, because there's another muscle that comes around here, it's called a pec major, and my preferred treatment for a biceps tenodesis, which means moving the biceps from there to here, is super pec. Um, there's a little groove here where the biceps tendon attaches. Some people do a infra pec or a sub pec biceps tenodesis, and you can do that too. But if we do a super uh, a subscapularis repair uh, in a biceps, well, we're right there, so it's really quite easy to repair the subscapularis and repair the biceps tendon or tenodesis biceps tendon. There's a bunch of videos I have about biceps tenodesis. So if you're interested in that, certainly look those up where we uh, will show you um, the biceps tenodesis uh, video. Anyway, subscapularis tears, a little bit different, not the most common, but not rare. Um, usually open if it's the complete one and oftentimes make it easy for us to do the biceps tenodesis. Much easier, much straightforward than not being able to see very well to get this anchor down here. So I hope this helps. Please subscribe to the channel. Please comment on the channel. We love to have comments. We love to be able to address more and more issues that come up. Uh, so thanks again and we'll see you soon.